Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about Carl Andre's Quincy. Carl Andre is an American artist born in 1935 in Quincy, Massachusetts. He's best known for his minimalist sculptures which utilize various building materials such as steel, wood, stone, concrete, the sculptures are often displayed in a grid-like pattern. Andre was also a writer and a poet, composing many concrete poems on his typewriter. Guys, let's dive right into the book. Quincy was a book published first in 1973 on the occasion of his solo show at the Addison Gallery. I think what's most interesting about this book is that Andre himself did not take the photographs that are printed here. Um, he hired a commercial photographer to go around his hometown of Quincy and photograph the landscape. What I think is cool is that uh, the photographs are all sort of visually linked to what Andre's working on in his sculpture practice. I think you'll see a lot of the images sort of toe the line between whether or not it's a man-made or um, natural landscape. So you'll see the photos of the quarries and the rock piles, and then the photos of the gravestone um, fabrication. And there's also sort of a visual narrative here that, that starts with following the stream through to the quarry, and then through the fabrication of the stone where, of course, when you're milling stone, you need to be spraying water on the stone so that you're not uh, ruining your tool. And we follow the water all the way out through the town, through the graveyard, and then eventually to the ocean. This version of the book was published in 2014 by Primary Information. They're a New York-based art book publishing company with a focus on contemporary art books as well as historical books, uh, which they try to publish as often as possible in facsimile edition. And a facsimile is basically a copy of the original, so they try to get it as close as possible to how the book was actually presented, which I think is really cool that this book is basically how Andre intended it being viewed. Overall, I think this book is really interesting, especially for people who are interested in minimalism, as well as any art in the 1960s and 70s. I think it offers a really great insight into what Andre's visual language is, and I think it's really cool to get this kind of uh, look at a historical book that's not very easy to obtain. So overall, I give this book uh, five out of five concrete uh, blocks so the highest honor if you'd like to purchase a copy of this book i placed a link in the description below thanks guys for watching and hopefully you tune in again next week for another edition of art books for you but don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys soon thanks